virtual Sunday school. This week I am so excited because we reached a thousand subscribers. <laughs> if you already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you don't subscribe, then hit the subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a hero of the faith, Eric Liddell. We'll look at his story, a Bible verse, crafts, creative prayers, and then finish with a final thought. So grab your drink and a biscuit and let's do this. When you're stuck at home with time to spare, can't go outside, you're not going anywhere. Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit, tune into virtual Sunday school. We're the craft to do and a story or two. Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? Eric Liddell was a Scottish man who was actually born in China in 1902. Eric was a runner and he was a very good runner. In fact, in 1924, he became very famous because he was going to run the 100 meter race for Scotland in the Olympics. He was much better at running than me. I am very unfit. <laughs> Alongside being a runner, Eric was a Christian and he did his very best to follow Jesus every day. Every day, Eric would run and he would run his fastest and he would run for Jesus, except on Sundays, because he took Sundays off as a day of rest, a Sabbath. After months and months of training, Eric found out that the 100 meter race, his race in the Olympics, was going to be on a Sunday. <gasps> so even though he loved to run and Eric was probably going to win the race, he honored Sunday as the Sabbath and refused to run in the race. Eric knew that he needed to put God first, even before the thing he loved the most, running. The 100 meter race couldn't be changed, so Instead, he ran in the 400 meter race, which wasn't even what he was best at. As we're stuck inside, we don't have 400 meters to run a race, and we don't have the runners to compete in it. So earlier on, Rob and I popped out into the garden and enlisted the help of some friends to help us recreate the race. Let's head over to the racetrack now. You join us on a lovely day here in Paris for the 400 meter sprint. We have six very competent woodlice runners in the running today. Uh, one of these, of course, is Mr. Eric Little, transferred over from the 100 meters. It'll be interesting to see how he fares in this event. They're in their starting positions now. And they're off. Five and six straight off the mark with number two closely behind them. And number six has lost interest. Number two steals the lead. That's Eric Little taking the lead from number five. Three and four haven't moved and one is barely waking up. And Eric Little in the lead. Oh, surprise maneuver by swapping lanes. Yet he manages to reach the finish line first. Eric Little takes first position and that's the gold medal for Eric. Closely followed by number five taking the silver and number one swapping into Eric's lane to take the bronze medal. Three and four haven't really woken up and six is sneaking out the back of the race course. Well, that is the race. Eric Little, first place gold medalist. Number five, uh, the race has finished and you may now leave. Three and four haven't moved still and aren't really competing in today's race, it seems. Oh, the trainer has stepped in for number four uh, and it's on, he's on his back. That's gone very wrong indeed. Uh, oh, number six is telling number five that he can leave. So that's good. Yes, he's left the race course now. And number four is in the race. All of a sudden, no, he's asleep again. Uh, number three is now running on the walls. Not entirely sure that's Olympic regulations. That may lead to a bit of an injury if he's not too careful. Uh, number four has joined the race once again. Ah, three has fallen off. That's what you get for running on the walls. And here we go. Three and four now competing for fourth place. Third, number three has taken fourth position. And number four has fallen asleep before reaching the finish line. And Eric Little wins the race! Come on! So the real race didn't happen exactly like it did with our wood life friends. But Eric Little competed in the 400 meter race, which wasn't on a Sunday and he won the gold medal. And not only that, he set a new world record he was so fast. But Eric didn't stop there. No, he kept running the race for Jesus, but in a slightly different way, by going all the way over to China to join his parents as missionaries. And he stayed there until he died in 1945. 
In Philippians chapter 3 verse 14 it says, I press on towards the goal, to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. For Eric Liddell, the prize of an Olympic gold medal oh, <laughs> was not as important as the prize of following Jesus. Eric Liddell knew how important it was to put God first. He chose to put God first when he refused to run and honoured the Sabbath. And he chose to put God first when he gave up all the Olympic fame and the running in Scotland to go and be a missionary in China. Just like Eric Liddell, we can choose to put God first in our lives, even above the things we love the most. Now it's time to do some crafts. To help us remember to put God first and press on towards our goal with Jesus, Today, we're going to design a medal which says, put God first. We'll need something round for our medal. Now, the easiest way to do that is by drawing a circle on a piece of paper. But you could see what else is around the house to use. Maybe some cardboard, or you could ask your grown-up for an old CD, or if you can use something from the recycle bin. Next, we need to design our medal. Don't forget to put the words, put God first on it. And then you could colour it in, paint it, glitter it, stick things on, see what you've got in the house, but be creative. Once you've finished with the design, why not see if you can add some ribbon or some string to it so you can wear it like a medal. And with a bit of an Olympic spirit in mind, this week we are gonna have a competition! Ooh. I want to see who can create the best medal and whoever I choose will get a special mention in next week's Virtual Sunday School. But never mind the competition. These crafts are a great way to remind us of the things that we've learnt. Last week, someone even popped their craft on the fridge, which I think is a great idea. For our creative prayers this week, we are going to take Eric Liddell's example and run for Jesus. We're going to pray while we run on the spot for 10 seconds. 10 seconds on the clock. You guys at home, up on your feet, you can join in by running on the spot and saying Amen at the end. On your marks. Get set. Go! Dear Lord, please help us to run the race well and remember to put you first, keeping our eyes on the prize. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen! You guys could have a go at home and do some running for Jesus prayers yourself. And so a final thought. After winning a gold medal in the Olympics, Eric Liddell said, It's been a wonderful experience to compete in the Olympic Games and to bring home a gold medal. But since I was a young lad, I have had my eyes on a different prize. You see, each of us is in a greater race, and this race ends when God gives out the medals. Let's remember to put God first in our lives and keep on running the race for Jesus, just like Eric Liddell did. In the description below, I've popped a link to a fantastic children's worship song by some friends of mine, a band called The Jelly Beans. The song is called Hero of the Faith, so go and check it out! We love hearing from you, and this week we've heard from lots more of you. A couple of quick shout outs to do, firstly to a church over in Puerto Rico who've adapted Virtual Sunday School and translated it into Spanish for their church, which is amazing. And secondly to Sofina from Milton Keynes, whose birthday it is this week. Happy birthday! It's becoming a regular thing. Check out these photos that we've received this week. And if you sent us one, see if you can see yourself. get in touch then ask your grown-up to head over to the Forefront Theatre Facebook page and leave a comment on this video and don't forget our competition there'll be a special mention next week for whoever makes the best medal remember to subscribe to our channel give us a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends 
See you next week. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School?